Hi, it's Susie here. Welcome back to my cottage. Today I've got a little show and tell for you from Crafty Individuals and they very kindly sent me some stamps to review and I'm going to go through them with you and I'll also show you how you can mount them and use them and I think they're great background stamps most of the ones I've got are background stamps and they can be used for journaling and junk journaling and coloring as well for backgrounds so stay tuned grab yourselves a coffee and let's get started so crafty individuals is a British company based in England and they have a wide range of products, not just stamps, but they actually manufacture and design their own stamps. And this is what I've got to show you today. I'll leave all the details down below and you'll be able to go and have a look at their website and check them out. They're extremely competitively priced and they've very kindly given a discount of 20% to any of my viewers so you can grab one at a bargain price and they also ship worldwide so let's have a look at these this one is a crackle background and this is what they look like they're basically unmounted stamps and what you do, you get hold of some mountain stamp foam, which is this, and you back them onto that. And then you've got them available to use in your stamping platform or on a stamping block. So let's go through and have a look to start with. They're numbered, not named. So this is CI116. This one is absolutely gorgeous. Sorry, I've got my camera in a different position today. So if I don't quite make it right first time, I'll get there. Um, again, another background stamp and some butterflies and some teasels. I think they're called teasels. I'm pretty, that's what I always call them anyway. And that's that one. This one is a floral one, and I love my florals. Now, this one comes in one block, as you see there, but you could cut them to stamp individually if you wanted to. You would just need to cut round each individual part and do that. But to my mind, if I want certain flowers and everything I just stamped the whole lot and then fussy cut what I needed but um, they're really pretty these ones are very similar to ones that I've already got I've got birds and I've got butterflies but these are the little little children and I just think they're absolutely adorable now these ones I probably will cut into four individual ones but that's how they come so that's that one another background script stamp which I think is just really beautiful and, and unusual for script and so that one you could use as a background for anything really and that's how it comes at the back Butterflies, again, you could cut these out all individually, but I would just stamp them and then cut them out. You know, fussy cut them out and just use them like that. So that's those. This is all leaves. And again, you, I would do the same if I wanted just one or two leaves. I would stamp them out and fussy cut them out rather than try and cut each individual part out because they're quite small i've got more butterflies 
which are sh these ones are like the positive and negative. So they're the same butterfly, but just one's, well, you can see one's dark bodied and one's light bodied. I don't know what yet, what else you could call it other than positive and negative. And um, that's a much bigger stamp, so it would be a lot easier for cutting out, fussy cutting. This is another one that's a lovely background stamp. It's got a bit of everything and I love the birdie too. So that says from a drawing by Dora Buis de Vries. It's called Nesting Instinct, that one. And that's that one. And then the last one I've got to show you today is this one, which again is a beautiful background stamp. I love the fans and the butterflies. It's just, just really, really pretty. So that's that one. So what I'm going to do now is open a few of them and I will show you how I mount them on the stamp and foam and what I do first of all is I take my rubber stamp I do apologize for the lighting it's one of those days where we're getting snow showers rain cold wind it's pretty horrible here um, but at least the wind's a bit less than it was over the weekend it was just so much I couldn't possibly have filmed because it was just too noisy so what I do is I take a piece of my mountain stamp I called it cut and foam but it's the same thing and what I would do is I would stamp the pattern on there and then you've got an idea of what your stamp is plus then you can just stick it onto the back and this bit is the bit that will stick to your stamping platform or your mounts or what have you and it just it's just foam that that gives it a bit of a cushion that's sticky so let's um try this I'm going to try it with stays on. I tried it with the archival ink with my other ones and I found it very, very difficult to use. Not because there was a problem with the stamps, but I just could not stamp. Excuse me. I could not stamp it completely clear on this. It's a slightly slick background and of course you're using it without a mount. So... We'll give it a try anyway, and I'll show you what it's like. And I'd, I'd use a permanent ink as well, just so that it's not likely to wear off. And this piece here just happens to be a spare piece that I've got that fits this one absolutely perfectly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay that on there, give it a slight press, give it a few seconds so that the ink sticks and then lift it up and there's your crackle. So that's what your stamp looks like say it's a great background stamp so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take my scissors and cut this roughly to size and I'm going to stamp this off on a spare bit of paper that I've got just so that I'm not going to get it all over my desk. They actually, it actually holds the ink very well, so 
you know you could do lots of stamping with one ink up so let's move that let's put this over here and let's take this back piece and I'm just going to peel the sticky back piece off and then just line it up with the stamp press it down and you have your mounted stamp you can trim it up obviously once it's on there that's no not a difficult thing to do just so that you're not getting sticky everywhere and that's pretty much it that's your stamp now backed So I am going to pop this one back into its envelope for the time being. And that's just going to go back in there. I did get a little bit of ink on the plastic there. But there you go, you've got your stamp from the front. You can see what it is. And then when you take your stamp out, you know exactly which one is which. So let's let's give that a try for some more. And I think I am going to open the new pack because the vast majority of these are actually square, which makes it a lot easier to stamp them onto. So I am going to pop that one down there and let's try another one I want to try and get some ones that are square to start with so we'll try this slightly bigger one which is bigger butterflies and let's see what this one looks like again I'm going to ink it up with my stays on because it definitely seems to be better result I'm not saying that if you were using a stamping platform that the archival link wouldn't work because it it clearly would but um, for this purpose where you're not using a stamping platform I think the stays on gives a better result now before I stamp that one on I'm just going to grab my piece of paper back again and I'm just going to stamp this one off. It's often best to do this because then you can um, condition the stamp to take the ink properly. But that's not too bad. So I'll just grab my stays on again, go back over. This time I'm going to take it and place it. Oh, look what I've done. Oh, my goodness. How can I be such a messy person? But I am just going to take it and I'm going to lay it right at the edge. I'll probably need to cut a little bit off. But there you go, you've got a, it shows what your stamp is. And I've just realised, <laughs> what a wally, oh my goodness me, I've just stuck it to the plastic. That was a bit daft. Right, okay, um, I thought it was a bit weird looking. Let's go back to the stays on ink up again and give it another try. It's 
funny this morning I've been watching um, Tina from Shabby Dabby Doodah and some of her projects and that ink that I've got on my hand there is nothing compared to what she had on her hands dearie me right let's put this to the edge Just press it down, give it a few moments and lift it up. That's better. That's much, much better. <laughs> okay, that one didn't come out very well, but it still gives you an idea of what's on your stamp anyway. And just because my methods aren't... <laughs> brilliant doesn't mean to say that the sta it's anything wrong with the stamps it's just me and just clean the stamp off onto this scratch paper and then I am going to cut this out touch the ink yet because it it's going to take a while to dry that's it that's that one and I'm going to give that a little bit of time to dry and then I'm going to attach that one and I'll do, come back to that one after I've stamped another one for you to see. Sorry, I jogged the camera then. Right, let's try another little one. Let's see what we've got. Let's try and get one. Let's try this flower one. They've all got to be mounted, but I just don't don't like wasting this foam. So that one's going to hmm. trying to work out the best. It's not going to fit that way, so let's let's just do it this way. Yep, that's fine. So these ones I've got here are just a fraction of the designs that they have at Crafty Individuals. So there's loads and loads for you to choose from. It doesn't really matter what your style is. There'll be something that you like. And please take advantage of, of the wonderful 20% off that they've offered. And get some to try. Right. Um going straight in with this one and let's see what I can manage to do sorry I just hit the camera again now I hope it didn't jog too much or make you feel too sick And that's that one all done. So just just enough so that you can try it out and you know know which stamp is which because if if you've got two or three stamps on the go, 
you want to know which one is which by the back of it because some of them are harder to tell I mean that one it's quite easy to tell what they are but some background stamps you know it's it's more difficult to know which way round they go and everything like that so I am going to cut that and I'm going to cut up the side here and I'm just going to leave that one for a moment I'm going to put the lid back on because I think you probably got the gist of what's what's happening now so I'm going to come back to this butterfly one and I'm going to peel the back off of this one and stick it onto it is very very sticky I'm going to stick it on to the stamp and there we go I'm just going to turn it round Right. Oh, there's one tiny little bit there that needs a bit of a trim. That's it. Just a tiny little bit here. And that really is just to stop it sticking onto things it shouldn't be sticking onto. And that's that one done. So that one is on there nicely. I don't worry about little parts of the stamp sticking over or anything like that because when you put it on a block, you're putting it on a block that's bigger than the stamp. So, and most of it round the edges, the tiny little bits are not part of the actual stamp anyway. So that doesn't worry me in the slightest but what I'm going to do I'm going to finish mounting all of these stamps and then I will come back and we'll I'll do a video different uses so that you can see them properly stamped out that's that all back in the packet um, and then you know you can you can get a better idea then. Right, let's just pop this one on. And finish up these three. Ooh. stuck on there that's not going to be any good that's better I'll pop that one over there and I'm going to pop that one on there get it pressed down Turn it round. I've just got a little bit of excess here. Let's just take that off there and get rid. And that's that one done. So they're quite quick and easy to stamp and put the foam on. And obviously, if you use a stamping platform or stamping blocks. This will then stick to the platform or the block and make it a lot easier for um, getting a good. Oh, come on, in you go. 
Alright, he does it. Yeah, for getting a good impression from your stamp. So, that's those ones. So, I will, I will continue to do the putting of the cut and foam onto the back of the stamps. And I will come back with another video giving you ideas of how to use it and showing you the stamping platform and what it what they look like with the blocks as well so i hope you've enjoyed the video thank you very much for sticking with me and watching while i bumble through things and i'll see you very very soon please remember to check all the details below and go and have a look at the website for crafty individuals which is www.craftyindividuals.co.uk and use the code that's in the description below. Bye now.